driving it fast, driving it slow, from Bosnia to Montenegro. To Montenegro. This is where we go. And uh, maybe we arrive today, tomorrow, let's see. A lot of traffic. Because everyone, everybody wants to see this awesome botanic over here. So let's go in this direction and see what we can find. Uh, built in the 18th century and it's out of business. Here we see the red dragonfly, also known as Nomad and technically known as Sympetrum foscalbiui. It was widely spread in the south of Europe, but now the range has extended towards the northern parts as well. It also occurs in the Madeira and Canary Island. Like the other dragonflies, it is also found near the water habitat for breathing. But otherwise, being a migrating creature, it is found away from the water. It can be seen flying over and around the sea area. This is an absolutely special one of the last trains running on the old railroad between Bosnia and Montenegro. Some talented local artist gave the old rusty lady a little vanish. Between the black mountains and fresh green wetlands in Montenegro it's very rare to find a train. Sometimes they hit the tracks in time and sometimes you have to wait a couple of days. They are basically transporting peoples and cars. 
One of the most nirvanic train rides you can ever do is to go from Podgorica to Sarajevo. The old train will show you the forgotten nature of the Balkans. High cliffs and dark tunnels are appearing all the time. And that's why the Abenteuer Botanic crew is so fascinated about this urban nature. After a risky ride on the old mountain road of South Montenegro, we made it to the country of free camping. Albania. Driving the car, I'm driving the car from Monte Montenegro to Albania. Nach Albania. All right, we are on the way now, and um, somebody told me there's a mysterious blue eye around, and uh, yeah, we're gonna make a little documentation for you, our final destination in the Balkan special, and uh, yeah, man, let's find the blue eye. Two years ago, we already have been in Albania together with our good colleague Dr. Garbage King and learned how the garbage circle was created and how it affects the botanic around us. Yeah, for sure, it's a circle. And now, two years later, people still didn't learn to prevent our nature from the garbage circulation situation. It almost seems like human beings think garbage is made for fertilizing the ground to grow more garbage all around the planet. Hmm. The spider species Tegenaria domestica, commonly known as barn funnel weaver, belongs to the genus Tegenaria in the family of Agelenidae. Based on collected data, the geographic range for Tegenaria domestica includes four countries and 19 states of the US. Tegenaria domestica is most often sighted indoors and during the month of April. And back in the habitat with you.
Next morning we found this little venomous friend, Sinensis aranei. This colorful spider has a little trick. It looks fruity and juicy, so it places itself into the spider web, attracts other animals like small butterflies, mosquitoes and flies and connected it to the net and eat it. If you get bitten by accident ever in your life, don't worry, anti-venin against spider bite has become very effective and thus made the occurrence of death resulting from a spider's bite a very rare thing. Spider venom in general is usually almost harmless to humans since it evolved for capturing or killing small invertebrates and not big mammals like ourselves. The Albanian coastline between Dures and Flora is a remarkable example how fast global warming rises up the water level. Okay, let's stop this video for a second. Melting glaciers and polar ice sheets and the expansion of warm water increases volume so the water goes up. Ten years ago this tower was standing on dry sand and our lovely Albanian friend here was able to park his car next to it. Unbelievable. Hello guys, back to Amtoy Botanic uh, in the valleys of Albania. The valleys of Albania are very deep and full of different stone elements. Uh, if you come with me. Different stones. This is the Caico Ercano. Back in the days the volcano was exploding and shooting all this malakas here on the floor and instead of this one here the zebra actano also very rare not easy to find only in the valleys of albania uh, the rivers are clear and cold nice to put the beer inside if you're thirsty in the evening after a long journey with your camera team and uh, yeah the special in the background here a uh, very very famous mountain of Albania, the Kerano Tado, named after a fighter from the 15th century. I hope you can see the different layers and uh, what's so special about that. I will uh, ask my colleague uh, Bernd Reicht at home, back in the university in Göttingen. Well, it's massive, like our Albania special. Balkan special. Oh, ah, my lovely friend and colleague Andreas. Of course I can tell you why this mountain has such different layers. There are three main types of rocks. Sedimentary, Igneous and metamorphic. Each of these rocks are formed by physical changes such as melting, cooling, eroding, compacting or deforming. Sedimentary rocks, like in this case, are formed by other existing rocks or organic materials. The Albanian ghost dog. Very rare species and very very beautiful. 
Very rare in Europe, where very rare on the planet. Always curious about what's happening left and right. Sometimes interested in insects like flies, bees, salamander and bigger animals like cats or goats. In Albania it's not so common to have trains. Back in the days we had a, a lot of transportation going on, the old coal fields and uh, the train network is abundant uh, nowadays. No trains are existing anymore, driving nowhere. They are all rotting somewhere and uh, yeah, the back, back in the days everyone needed the coal to heat up the house but uh, nowadays we have electronic, we have gas, we have oil, stuff like that. And also the resources are a little bit empty, which is also not good for Mother Earth. So this abundant bridge is also a little bit broken. So it would be very dangerous to still use it, I guess. And uh, yeah, what can we say? It's just nice to look at it without any trains or something. And here, finally, we are on that road which should lead us to the powerful and refreshing place called Blue Eye. The Blue Eye, Albanian Siri i Kaltea, is a water spring and natural phenomenon occurring next to the village of Musine in Finik municipality, southern Albania. Divers have descended down there to 50 meters but it's still unclear what the actual depth of the cast hole is. The source stands at an altitude of 152 meters and has a discharge rate of 18,400 liters per second. This nature monument is characterized by oak and sycamore trees and also one or two tourists around. In summer 2004, the source was temporarily dried up. And this is how our little Balkan trip ends here. The Abenteuer Botanic Cruise says Merci, Falamenderit, Efkaristopoli. Live.